Hello everybody, it's Matt Ward at First Baptist Thompson. We love good news, we love comforting news, we love uplifting news, and we had some of that this past Sunday morning in our worship service, and just in case you missed it, wanted to make sure that everybody's had a chance to hear Gabby sing Christine DeMarco's version of It Is Well. is 
Music always has a way of bringing us comfort or encouragement or hope. I love the line in that song where the waves and wind still know his name. It's a beautiful image. Uh, the first, the earliest song that I can think of or that I know with that text in it goes back to the 1700s and it's been translated into our language as Be Still My Soul and the, the last line of the second verse, Be Still My Soul, the waves and winds still know his voice who ruled them while he dwelt below. That's got to be encouraging. That's got to be encouraging for us to hear. The waves and wind still know. Representative of any, any storm, any trouble, any problem that we face in this world that's thrown up against us. We talked about this in Sunday school just a few weeks ago when Paul tells us that creation itself is subjected because of the curse that even the world doesn't want these bad things to happen, that it might be responsible for. And you think of this, this virus and many other viruses and bacterial infections, they're all of natural causes and sources. The world doesn't want these things to happen. And there is coming a day when none of these things will happen again, when God recreates the world in the way that it was always intended to be. How encouraging to know that one day we will, those who trust in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, live in a world where we don't have to worry about getting sick, getting injured, accidents happening. That's not the way it was created to be, and it's not the way that it will be forever. So for now, I pray that you take encouragement from that line, the waves and winds still know. The waves and wind still know. They remember Jesus. They remember their Creator. And they long for the day when they will no longer be a part of a problem, but they will only be a part of the wonderful world that we will live in. Until then, let's be encouraged. <laughs>